I'm Lance, inventory software expert since 2006. This is Julia, the number one sales rep at SOS Inventory. We're grateful to have Julia with us today. Julia, welcome. Thank you. Julia is going to show us the awesome features in SOS. If you'd like to see more, we did a deep dive recording that's over an hour long if you're really interested. But we're going to let Julia show us the features in SOS. SOS is awesome because it solves inventory needs for customers who are already in QuickBooks Online and finding that they're struggling with managing inventory. And especially because we are the only inventory solution with a true bi-directional sync with QuickBooks Online, meaning you create an invoice in SOS, it's going to flow into QuickBooks Online. If your bookkeeper comes in and edits that invoice on the QuickBooks side, that edit's coming back to SOS as well. And also, we've got to say something awesome about SOS's price because you guys price aggressively. I don't know anyone in the market that prices as aggressively as you are. Tell us about SOS price. SOS's aim is to be accessible to small businesses, startups, mom and pop type shops. And we do a lot to keep those prices low. And we also have three different plan levels so that users can choose the price that works for them based on the features that they need. And so you can see our three plan levels here, companion plus and pro. And if you do come to this pricing page, we have a whole feature comparison down below. But essentially this $59.95 a month gets you basic inventory management, whereas the plus plan gets you a little bit more advanced inventory management with serial tracking, lot tracking, barcoding, multiple locations. And then if you're doing more advanced manufacturing, you might wanna go with that pro level. But a quick point about that, all three of these levels allow you to build assemblies. So if you're doing basic assembling, you don't necessarily need that highest level package. You might be able to get by with one of the lower levels. All right, well, let's take a look at this software. I like how well it's designed and how easy it is to navigate around. Tell us about the sales uh, portion of the software. Absolutely. So you can always in this program, either work from the menus that kind of match up with what you're working on at the time, or you can use these quick add buttons. And so for sales orders, you can either quick add a sales order manually from this menu here. You can also pull sales orders in directly from our marketplace integrations, which are Shopify and Big Commerce, or any sale that's coming into QuickBooks Online from a third party, your Amazon or your eBay up to your QuickBooks Online. Those sales receipts and invoices come into SOS as well and can be fulfilled out of SOS. And if you're worried that your platform doesn't integrate, you may want to check out Shopify because more and more small businesses are using Shopify as a hub. And uh, talk about B2B portals, Shopify has got it. Amazon integration, Shopify has got it. Do you really need to integrate with much more than Shopify? I don't know. So take a look at the sales order screen. So here's your sales order screen. Not terribly complicated. Your customers will populate at the top. Simply select your tracked customer. It's going to pull in all of their address information. You can have multiple addresses if you need to. You can select them in this box. And then this table below will prompt you to put in what this customer is expecting on this sale. And then you can, of course, send the sales order, at, sales order out as a promise to that customer that you plan to deliver these specific items to that customer. And SOS has multi-site tracking, uh, location tracking, or bin or shelf, whatever you want to call it. It also has serial number tracking, lot number tracking, expiration tracking, uh, to name a few. Um, also, SOS does a little bit with manufacturing. I say a little bit, but that is kind of relative, depending on you. You might look at SOS and think, oh, wow, they have a pretty robust work order screen. Take us to the work order screen, Julia, and show us the bills of material and work orders. Depending on the size of your company, you might look at this and think, uh, that's, that's not that robust. Or you might look at it and say, wow, that's got everything we need and more. So in SOS, a work order is a way to organize multiple build needs. So for example, if I knew that I needed to build two of these sub-assemblies and two of these sub-assemblies to create my final assembly, I would put all of these sort of steps of manufacturing onto this work order and also assign this to a specific customer if it is for a specific customer. And then once I've saved my work order, 
it's going to appear on my work orders list, which you'll find in your production menu. The work order step is really for organization. The actual conversion of your materials from raw materials to finished goods is performed by what we call a build transaction. If you come to the quick view of your work order, you can actually produce your builds straight from this work order. If you hit produce, this generates the build and the build itself when it's saved will relieve your inputs from stock, stock your output and move your asset value around in QuickBooks if needed. Wonderful. There's also a tool to help you decide what to manufacture. And there's also a tool to help us decide what to purchase. Now, we don't need to go through that tool this time, but maybe just show us the purchase order screen and talk about the tools you have to help the users decide what to buy. Absolutely. So in this purchasing menu, one of the tools that you have is a reorder list. And this reorder list can be populated by running your reorder report. That reorder report will aggregate the information that you have at the item level about reorder points, max lock levels, lead times, tell you what needs to be ordered. And then you can also generate POs directly from this reorder list in your purchase orders menu. Click on that reorder list. Through so this the vendor, we have one thing we need to reorder. If we were to check this box, we could check as many boxes as we needed. We could hit generate POs. And then you'll see that PO appear on your actual purchasing list, on your purchase orders list. So then this is where I think about fulfilling orders, fulfilling the PO, fulfilling the work order, fulfilling the sales order. And um, we can't show you the mobile device, but there is a mobile device and it's robust and powerful, actually does everything you can do on the screen, but it's in the iOS, it's not browser-based, so you can get it from the App Store, and you can receive with it, pick with it, uh, pack with it, and you can create sales orders and purchase orders. So if you do trade shows and things like that, you need to create purchase orders. And there's user rights, so don't worry too much. You, we can uh, limit user rights so people can't do things you don't want them to do. So the receiving, there's a receiving screen. Do you want to show us the receiving screen, Julia? Just keep it simple to come off of this purchase order we just generated automatically. All of your next steps are always in these actions menus beside your transactions. If you do come in and say receive, that's going to pull the items from that purchase order onto this item receipt. When you save this item receipt, that is going to bring those items into stock. Nice. And then picking, that might be a good thing to show us. Show us a, a pick ticket. Fulfilling. So let's say we're picking maybe for our work order. Sure. Yeah. Maybe. From any kind of work order or sales transaction, again, in your actions menu, you'll find the ability to create pick ticket. It's going to generate a list of everything that needs to be picked to fulfill that work order or sales order or shipment, whatever you need. And then it will always exclude important customer information like addresses and things like that. And where's the print preview? So if you hit this button here, that will actually print. And this is on every page. But if you want to see what the print will look like, the quick view is the quickest way to see that default form. But you also do have the ability to download and edit all of these forms. So if you go to PDF this form, it will give you options of all of your different forms you have attached to each individual transaction. That's right. And SOS allows you to edit forms using Microsoft Word. So very user-friendly platform. <laughs> so fulfilling sales orders, we can use SOS to fulfill sales orders. Why don't we take a look at the fulfillment section? So again, you always mostly want to work from the transaction that you started with. And so when it comes to fulfilling sales orders, all of your next available steps, as always, are located in these actions menus. Um, you can create pick tickets from here. So you can see you have a lot of various other options. But most importantly, you'll create a shipment in order to get your inventory out of stock and off your books. And so this will pull everything from your sales order. And when you save this, these items come out of stock and a journal entry goes to QuickBooks to reflect that shipment. And then once you've saved that shipment, you can also invoice straight from that sales order. And when you develop your invoice, that is going to create the invoice, fill everything that has been shipped from that order onto your invoice, 
And then the invoice itself flows over to QuickBooks Online with all of your line item detail, including serial numbers and lot numbers populate in your description field. So ultimately, you end up with that serial information on the QuickBooks side as well, even though they don't support serial numbers. And SOS does integrate with ShipStation. So yeah. there you go. There's, there's a quick run through of SOS. And if you'd like to see a deeper dive, take a look at our deep dive demo of SOS. You'll see the features in further depth. So like or subscribe and comment below if you have some comments. And if you'd like a demo from Julia, she'd be more than happy to give you your own demo. And if you have some questions about other software programs besides SOS, reach out to Brandel Consulting and we can help you make a final decision on a software purchase.